When the moon hangs high in the midnight sky Like a cat's claw scratching down And the wolves, they do howl For they smell something foul Mr. Whiskers has come to town He trundles out of the dark Looking for a lark You better pray you don't catch his eye For when he is done having his fun You just might wish you could die <laughs> I think that is as good as it's going to get. Uh, mm. uh. All right. Yes, yes. Mm. I love it. That not so much. <clears throat> Good evening, my creepy kitties. It is I, your host, Mr. Whiskers the Mad Catter, here to bring you another episode of Twisted Tea Time. Uh, as you can see, I have something of a new setup. Oh, my companion left. Whatever. Uh, I'm. This is my first time using it, so I'm hoping everything is. Um, Properly balanced light-wise. I hope you can see everything and I hope you can see all the prettiness over here Hello Mort. Hello Rigger Ah, Yes, yes Well as some of you may know and others may not I am a boogie This is the politically correct nomenclature for boogeymen uh, Because let's just face it uh, there are boogie entities, boogie elementals, boogie women, boogie concepts. It's just a whole plethora of boogies. And tonight, we are going to learn about one particular boogie. In fact, something you may not know is that we cover certain... Fields, I guess you could say. Certain portfolios. Mine is luck. Good luck, bad luck, make you wish you were dead luck. Luck! Meanwhile, the boogie that we are going to talk about tonight, well, her portfolio is nightmares. And unlike myself, she did not accept her portfolio willingly. So... We are going to learn of this boogie, and some of you, particularly those of you who wake up in the middle of the night, frozen with fear, seized with fright, might be familiar with her, in fact. After all, when you are paralyzed and coming out of your sleep, out of your closet she might creep on to your bed where you whimper and meep, she will whisper into your head nightmares that will plague your sleep. Ooh. One of the felines is calling. I'll get to them, and you enjoy the story. I bring you the Whisperer of Nightmares. What are you on about now? Messing with each other. Get out of there. You too. You're not pissing all over the place, are you? The Whisperer of, of Nightmares by Z.P. Gowdy. Your hair is dark and stringy now, no more luster and curl. You used to laugh, you used to play and dream the sweetest dreams. Now you crawl from closets and turn sleepers' dreams to screams. 
Your father was a carpenter. He worked late into the night. He'd come home from his workshop and tuck you in real tight. He'd tell you tales of wonder, of adventure, and of myth. Of a princess and the dragon friend whom she traveled with. Except on those nights when the moon hung fat and high. When he'd work down in the basement, though he never did say why. You'd hear the sounds of screaming saws and the hammering of nails. And when he came to tuck you in, he'd tell the darkest tales. He'd tell of monstrous beasts and men who'd prey upon the weak. Cautionary tales where the strong feasted on the meek. If the heroines and the heroes managed to win out in the end, it was a period. He'd always leave you with a warning, his eyes weary, cold, and gray. With dirty hand, he'd brush back your hair, and softly, he would say, When the shadows are thick, and there are nightmares around, Remember, make not a whisper, my dear, make not a sound. O oh, whisperer of nightmares, were that all, then you'd be fine. Not all tales need good to prevail and dance with bunnies and sunshine. We both know that's just the start of these dark and dreary dreams. For yours is a tragic tale, my dear, and ends in a symphony of screams. The carpenter had a secret, I fear, tied to dark and ancient lore. A gruesome obligation that lay underneath the floor. Just as there's forbidden knowledge that might cause apocalyptic end, there are forbidden doors, my dear, and they want to be opened. Beneath the floor, one such door strained against its locks and chains. And beyond this horrific gateway lay Nightmare's hellish domain. To keep it sealed, it was revealed, required a sacrifice of blood. And over many a year, your father, I fear, delivered it in a flood. Then one night, as you lay awake, awaiting your evening fable, the screaming saws fell into silence that was certainly unstable. Perhaps you might recall the moon that night, hung fat and colored red. While you laid in bed, your anxious head filled itself with thoughts of dread. Then a scream of rage, a cry of pain, running footsteps down below. The slam of a door, then silence once more, announced your coming woe. Your eyes full of tears, your heart full of fears, you crept to the basement lair and saw your father lay bleeding his heart's final beating at the bottom of the stair. O oh, whisperer of nightmares, you did not deserve your fate. Wicked plots and machinations made you a victim of their hate. You were but a pawn, I fear, in a game as old as time. By maddening forces of a scope inconceivable and 
sublime. You certainly could not be blamed for running to your father's side. Alas, though, how could you know it would have been best to hide? For while your attention was on him, his was on that blackened gate, and the roiling shadows within that seemed to silently the carpenter was far too injured to keep you from turning around. So he hoped that you'd recall what to do when nightmares did abound. But what young child could be blamed for letting out a fearful screech? After looking upon the nightmarish fiends that filled that hellish breach. I'm afraid desperation is the explanation for what happened next. For with his last strength, your father grabbed you and mocked you with a hex. As they fled their cage, they cried with joy and rage, but their victory was spoiled. For through you, your father knew their freedom would be foiled. The nightmares screeched, cried, and preached how they'd torture every mortal. But never again would they commit the sin of seeing what lay beyond that portal. But as you screamed, the hex gleamed, and to you they were pulled through and imprisoned. Thus from the weeping ashes of this tragedy, the whisperer of nightmares had arisen. Now, O oh whisperer of nightmares, you seek the sleeper's dreams. For the prison you've become is nearly bursting at the seams. So you crawl out from closets or from underneath their beds and relieve yourself of nightmares by whispering them into their heads. O oh, whisperer of nightmares, sometimes the sleepers do awake. Though they can only watch you crawl to them while silent, Wake. Then upon their prone forms you do climb, as horror does paralyze. These poor souls whose dreams, for their sake, you must terrorize. O oh, whisperer of nightmares, you poor forgotten girl. Your hair is dark and stringy now, no more luster and curl. You used to laugh, you used to play, and dream the sweetest dreams. Now you crawl from closets and turn sleepers' dreams to screams. Welcome back, my creepy kitties. I hope you enjoyed that yarn. Hmm. Control yourself. Story, not actual yarn. <clears throat> now, that is a bit of a sobering story. After all, becoming a boogie is a difficult thing. You bring fear to the mortals of the waking world, and sometimes that's not what you want. And in the case of this poor little girl, it's what she got. But 
Who knows? Perhaps you will meet her sometime, and you could help relieve her of her burden. I do just whisper a few nightmares into your head, after all. Not like you'd have any choice in the matter. <laughs> Ah, well, if you enjoyed tonight's story and want to see more, uh, by all means, like, subscribe, ring the bell of doom. I don't know. It's a bell-shaped thing. Everybody else is like, slam that bell, and I don't want to slam a bell. That's loud and obnoxious. Just ring it. Give it a little toll of doom and death. God, slamming the bell. Mm. Well, um... Oh, and if you really want to support me and maybe have a little more... Cheddar? No, I don't like cheddar. Actually, I do like cheddar. Um, cash? Money? Moolah? Greenbacks? I don't know what the kids call it these days. But if you have more of that than you are, know what to do with, by all means, head over to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Cheshire Hat. And, of course, um, you can subscribe there for as little as one dollar. I don't really know what I'm going to do for benefits. I'll try and figure that out. I think I also have a PayPal thing, but I, I don't remember what it is. Um, but yet, they're there if you so choose. I might even read off uh, names. I know I have Bosnick Fangirl, I have Don, and I have Robert. Those are my three patrons currently. And they are wonderful patrons, and don't you tell me otherwise. They've stuck with me through Think and almost said think. In fact, I think I kind of did. Hmm. Oh, well. Anyhow, alas, my friends, the time has come. I am afraid our tale is done. So as you drift off to reality seems, I wish you all a good night, and of course, pleasant dreams. Ha, 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 ha.